Hi, this is Dr. Steven Seiler. You know, we've been in the middle of a big lockdown and endurance athletes all over the world have been trying to make the best of a very difficult situation. And this is, this is a team that uh, I've had a little bit of interaction with through a coach, Espen Ereschel, and he sent me a few files of some of the rides that his riders have been doing on Zwift and alone uh, during the period of, you know, where the entire season was put on hold. And I just thought I had to show you one of them because it is pretty exceptional if you ask me. So one rider did a Zwift ride. I'm going to show this ride to you. The young rider's name is Jonas Abrahamson. He's 24 years old. Uh, he's part on this development team for Norway. So he got on Zwift and did a long ride. And before I tell you how long, here are his data. Uh, this is a very exceptionally low resting heart rate. Uh, here's his max, 67 kilo rider. His uh, six minute power, almost 450 watts at 67 kilos. His 60 minute power, 356 watts. So very good numbers, very well-trained athlete. But even within the realm of endurance, this is a kid or a young man who likes to go long. So he did a 13-hour Zwift ride. That's right, folks. 13 hours continuous. Now here is the raw data file, or this is the raw data from that ride. And what I want you to see is there are no dropouts. There are no periods where he stopped for lunch or stopped to, you know, use the toilet or anything. <laughs> so as far as I can tell, this is 13 continuous hours of riding. And I've expressed it as percentage of his six minute power, which is 450 watts and percentage of his heart rate reserve. And, and this is the raw, I wanted you to see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out and use 120 second rolling average here. And that is gonna clean it up a bit. So then you get to see now very even power uh, all the way through until the very end and then he goes up a little bit. And amazingly, his heart rate stays very constant. Very little drift of heart rate across 13 hours, which is quite amazing. Uh, I've broken this up into laps or segments, and those segments are 3,600 seconds, meaning one hour each. So 13 one-hour segments. Uh, and then we can go down and see how that looked in this table. So 13 hours and 15 minutes in total. And I'm, well, I'm gonna do something for you here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this top part go away and I'm gonna make that part go away. And now that table will be easy for you to see. So there you go. That's what a 13 hour Zwift ride looks like. Average power, 230 watts. Uh, very constant, 225 uh, to 240, did a little bit at 250 at the very end. Heart rate ranges from 116 in the first hour to about 129 when he's going harder in the 14th hour. But in general, his heart rate did not go up or drift up more than 10 beats in 13 hours. Uh, Exceptional endurance ride, just an example of tremendous durability that you see in some of the very best endurance athletes. And of course, also an example of uh, some people being really bored and needing to challenge themselves with some amazing uh, rides, solo, on Zwift, and otherwise during this uh, COVID-19 period. So good to see people are back out on the road and hopefully we'll see lots of racing again soon. But thought I would show you this.